Okay, I'm out here and it is Saturday, April 14th, and I'm finally going to get around to uh, moving uh, bees that have uh, set up a residence in, uh, in my flower pot here. You can see they're coming in. They're not happy I'm standing right in front of them. They're buzzing me now. I'm gonna try to calm them down with a little bit of smoke and I'm gonna uh, try to facilitate a cutout. So, let's see if I can stop this video and then get the, uh, stop this video. Got my gloves on so it's hard to, it's almost like this thing knows that I don't have a, Okay, I'm about to lift off the top part of the flower pot. As you can see, the bees are highly agitated. Um, they're up in my face. They actually have broken off stingers in my gloves. Actually, I see one right here. So uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be an adventure, we'll see. So here's the uh, bees. I don't know how well this is gonna work out. I waited too long. They built too much comb. Uh, as you can see, they are very agitated. Um, I don't know. They didn't do anything to the frame that just attracted them in there. I'm going to just try piece by piece to get this into these blank frames here with rubber bands and see how that works out. I just have to remember I'm upside down and keep the proper orientation. As you can see, it's a, it's a pretty intimidating uh, scene. <laughs> Thank God for the smoker and the stingless seat. But, um... Uh, you can see I'm making some headway here. I uh, hope I have enough frames. I uh, think I do. But um, if I don't, I'll get what I can. Make sure I get the queen and kind of put it all back together. And hope they go for the new home over the old home. They'll go wherever the queen is. So as long as I get the queen, uh, I should be good. But uh, first one, very intimidating. But uh, moving slow but sure, uh, we'll get there. I'm really surprised by how much they built in this little flower pot. Well, I guess it wasn't too little, but these two flower pots together. They have this side of the frame completely built out. I'm hoping the queen's there. And um, I already have these frames filled out, right? And this as well, right? So I'm going to definitely need two deeps for this. But you can see what I have left still is still a lot of comb and a lot of bees and a lot of unhappy bees. So I'm going to see what I can do to here. I don't want to move too fast, but uh, they are not getting any gentler as this goes on. So there's what I've been doing. I've just been taking frames that where I read on the, uh, on the interweb that have been just taking frames and putting blank frames and putting some uh, rubber bands around them and, uh, and then just kind of putting it in there the best I can, keeping the same orientation it was, you know, top to bottom. All right. I just had to tape this. It's a baby bee just coming out right here. See him? See the antenna? Another sister's coming out. Little baby bee coming right out. Little worker, because there's no dome on it. Just worker coming right out of that, right out of that brood. That's awesome. That probably was a once in a lifetime opportunity for me anyway, to try to get that and, and uh, and document it so come on out sister uh, well the good news is is every day will be better than today uh, she's probably like I'm not coming out of here <laughs> that was that was great continuing forward uh, it's out of focus I don't know why it's out of focus um, there we go uh, you can see in the air is nothing but bees they are all over it's it's just like some kind of movie but we're getting there uh, i got the bottom box established i got the screen bottom board i got it on a hive stand which i'm using a uh, 15 gallon pot which seems to work out pretty good so far worked out from other hive and uh and i still still have some to go in here as you could see but i'm almost there and then here is the second deep. Um, interesting enough, this was the <laughs> this was the original frame I put in there. I thought they would build out, and uh, and and nothing, not just barely anything, just a little burr comb. The bees do what they want; they know what they're doing, as I always like to say. 
all right uh i'll pick it back up oh shoot I'll pick it back up in a little bit Oops, turn off.